Hi everyone, welcome back to Onyx Food Hill. Thank you guys for joining me in today's video. I'm gonna be showing you how to make pupusas. These are easy flat bread made from masa harina. They are often stuffed with cheese, meat, and lots of other ingredients. And they are so so easy to make. If you want to see how I make these, please stay tuned and watch to the end. We are going to start by making the curutido. So you are going to start shredding your carrots and also slice your cabbage into thin strands. Slice the onion as well and bring all into a mixing bowl. Pour one cup of boiled water over the cabbage mixture, stir to combine, rest it for 10 minutes, then drain the water out. In another bowl, combine one cup of apple cider vinegar, one teaspoon of salt, and one tablespoon of Mexican oregano. Wix to combine and pour it over the cabbage mixture. Stir this again to combine, and once thoroughly mixed, cover and place in the fridge for 30 minutes. You can also chill it overnight. It's time to make the chicharron. Place a medium sized pan on the stove top, add one tablespoon of oil to it, and bring in about 500 grams of pork shoulder. Spread out the meat evenly in the pan and season with one teaspoon of salt and half teaspoon of ground black pepper. Cook the meat on medium heat for seven minutes. You can reduce the heat if they are browning too quickly. Turn every pieces of the meat over and cook for another 5 minutes until they are golden brown. Transfer the cooked meat to your food processor. Add 1 sliced tomatoes, 1 small onion and half green bell pepper. Process this for about a minute or so until a thick paste is formed. You don't need the mixture to be watery at all. This is the consistency you're looking for. And once done, you can set it aside. It's now time to make the pupusa dough. In a mixing bowl, combine two and a half cups of masa harina and half teaspoon of salt. Stir and make sure everything is well combined together. Gradually go in with one and a half cup of water. You don't want to add the water all at once, so you want to be gradual. Mix the dough with a spatula and make sure it absorbs all the liquid. You can drop the spatula and now use your bare hand to mix everything until you have a clear like texture. Cover the dough with a tea towel and set aside for 10 minutes to rest. After resting the dough, you can come back to it and make sure you arrange all your filling ingredients in one place. You will also need a little bit of oil and some water to dab your hand while folding this. Shape the dough into small balls, just a little bit bigger than the size of a golf ball. This will make it easy to work with the rest of the ingredients without much waste of time. Flatten the bowl into an even round shape. Fill inside of the dough with one teaspoon of the chicharron paste, one teaspoon of refried beans, and half tablespoon of mozzarella cheese. Go ahead and fold the dough over the filling until it's completely sealed. While you're working with this, if the dough cracks, you can seal it up with the leftover dough you have kept aside. And if it feels sticky, you can dab your hand in some oil and use it to seal everything nicely. Gently pat out the bowl with your hands until it's completely flat. 
and now you have something as beautiful as this. You can repeat this with the remaining ingredients. You can now go ahead and fry your pupusas. Heat a non-stick pan over medium heat, brush the pan with some oil, and place the pupusas into it. I would love to fry these few at a time. Cook the pupusas for about 4 minutes on one side. And once they are brown, you can flip over to the other side and cook for another 4 minutes. Once you have everything golden brown, you can transfer to a pepper toil and leave it to rest while you continue with the rest of the pupusas. And here you have your yummy pupusas. You can serve it along with your chilled kuruti dough. Just check out the beautiful feeling inside. It looks cheesy and smells good as well. I hope you loved this video. This was how to make pupusas at home. If you tried this recipe out, please let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. And if you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up and share the video with your friends. Remember to subscribe to Onyx Food Hill and hit the bell button so you'll be notified whenever new videos are uploaded. Until next time guys, Enjoy your meal. See you again next time. Bye.